I'm here to answer this week's question, what are the six puzzle pieces of your business? Now, I don't know if you've ever thought about this before, but your business is very much like a puzzle. Just let me, let me explain. If you look at a puzzle, you'll see on the cover of the box there's a picture. The picture on the cover of the box, which is, which is the first piece, is your vision. This is what your business is going to look like when it's finished, when it's complete. The picture on the cover of your box defines your objectives. It defines the purpose of your business. Everyone in your business, your staff and your customers, need to be aware of the vision of your business as to what it's going to look like when it's done. Now, I don't know about you, have you ever tried to put a puzzle together without looking at the picture on the front of the box? I think you'd find it very difficult. And yet, it seems that many business owners do exactly that. They have no vision in, in, in a lot of cases. And then they try to take these pieces and try to put the pieces of their business together. And so, without the vision of your business, then your business is just made up of all of these little tiny, you know, all of these pieces. And you're trying to fit some together and squeeze some in there, and it's kind of all over the place. Now, I know for many of you, this represents the reality of your business, trying to fit these pieces together. That's why, it's so, that's why so many entrepreneurs go towards franchises, because if you think of a franchise as a puzzle, then a franchise is nothing more than a business in a box. The vision is already defined, all the pieces are defined, so you know exactly how many pieces of the puzzle there are, and everything is measurable and monitored, and that's, that's the power behind a franchise. So here we are today, and I'm trying to introduce you to the idea that first and foremost, if, you're, if you look at your business as a puzzle, then you need to define the picture on the cover of the box. Because the picture on the cover of the box is your business vision. Okay, so now that you've painted a very vibrant picture, of what your business is going to look like when it's finished, when it's complete, now you need to go to the next step of the six steps. And the next step is breaking your puzzle up into manageable pieces. So is your puzzle a hundred pieces, a thousand pieces? Whatever the number is, you have to define it first and foremost. It's very important because when you define the pieces of your puzzle, you will be able to manage and track your progress uh, on an ongoing basis, which is obviously a, a great strength to have in your business. So, we've defined the picture, the vision of your business, now we've broken it up into manageable pieces. Okay, so now we're on to our next step, and that is the four corners. We're going to put our puzzle together, we've got our picture, we know how many pieces we're dealing with, now, most people, what they do is we start with the corners of the business, and this helps us to try to build our framework, if you will. Now, what I refer to as the four corners of the business puzzle, the first one is brand marketing, the second one is management, the third one is operations, and the fourth one is finance. And these four primary functions of your business, again, brand marketing, management, operations, and finance, they define the framework of your business. So now the next step, once we've got the four corners in place, is to actually start to build the edge of our puzzle. Because the edge of our puzzle is our business strategy. It defines exactly what our boundaries are, and it creates focus in your business. What I mean by this is that anything that's outside of your business puzzle is outside of your focus. So once you define the, edgy, the edges of your puzzle and your four corners, you now have a decision-making framework that will help you make stronger, better business decisions. It's actually very simple once you have it in place. A business without this framework, if you just want to follow me for a moment, a business without this framework looks exactly like this. So this is a business without focus, 
without a strategy, uh, which is kind of just haphazard. But over here is a business that has defined exactly what its, what its vision is, what its purpose is, what its boundaries are in terms of brand marketing, management, operations, and finance, and it has built its edges so as to create a focus. Okay, now many a business owner has probably created more than one puzzle. And uh, obviously this wastes a lot of time and effort, and not only that, most of those puzzles end up incomplete. So as a part of maintaining focus on your business, once you have this, this framework, if you will, defined and the boundaries defined, it will help you make better decisions because it will keep you focused on your puzzle. And I guess one of the things that I've learned and, and what I've communicated for many years is that you have to have focus in your business because without focus, um, you know, most entrepreneurs, there's a, there's a saying that says entrepreneurs are attracted to shiny new things. And uh, this being the case, well, when you have your puzzle defined, then any of those shiny new things that may come along and, and attract your attention as an entrepreneur, you'll know that it's outside the focus of your business, and therefore you just need to stick to your puzzle. So I would strongly recommend that you stick to completing your own puzzle first, before you go fixing other people's puzzles, and also before you start jumping into making other puzzles of your own, uh, because one business puzzle is certainly challenging enough. So now we're on to the next step. And the next step here is the, all of the pieces that fill out your puzzle. And I refer to these pieces as the tactics of your business. These are the actions that you and your staff take every day to deliver on the vision of the business within the defined framework that you have and the focus that you have established. So the tactics of your business, piece by piece, fit together very nicely. And these are actions, for example, uh, you know, doing, doing an e-newsletter, uh, e for example, having a special event, doing a customer satisfaction day, starting a loyalty program. What's interesting is that a lot of business owners uh, because they don't have a framework or a vision defined, they tend to just focus on the pieces of the puzzle, the inner pieces, if you will, the tactics. And so, keep in mind that strategy always comes before tactics. Alright, that's very important. Okay, now we're ready for the last and most important piece. And that is that after a while of doing so much puzzling and putting your pieces together, the best way for you to achieve your goals is essentially to stop puzzling for a while. It, it actually works very well if you take a break and you step back from your puzzle and relax. Because I assure you that some of the pieces that you've found difficult to find or to put in place, after you relax and you take a break and you come back and you start to see it with fresh eyes, you'll start to see, possibly, where those missing pieces uh, need to go. Now this brings me to another point, and that is, sometimes it actually helps when you're taking a break from puzzling and putting your business puzzle together, it actually helps to uh, bring in someone from the outside, like a consultant. Well, for example, use an application like Thrive Software, and because a consultant or Thrive Software as an application will help you see your business puzzle real and will show you what pieces are missing, what ones are in the incorrect uh, placement and so forth and it will get you back on track uh, and ultimately help you define your vision and your framework and then give you a plan so that you can put the pieces of your puzzle together in the least amount of time with the most amount of satisfaction. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, the answers uh, to this week's question. What are the six pieces of the retail puzzle? For Thrive Software, I'm Bill Jackman, signing off.